explain a DAO? All just right. Do so DAO for stands for Decentralized right, Autonomous Organization. And what this is, is a group of people on the internet that come together and generally for a purpose and they have some assets attached to it. The easiest way to uh, example for this, I think, was a constitution DAO. A group of people got together. They wanted to buy the US constitution. So people put a bunch of money, a bunch of ether into a fund. They received a token in return. And based on that token, it was kind of like you had voting rights and things you could do, potentially an ownership stake. That's an example of a DAO. In the exam, do you want to go through and explain Nans DAO? Yeah, okay. I'll go and explain Nans yeah. if you want I'll to. Let, let me yeah. just say a bit more about DAOs. So yep. they are called decentralized autonomous organizations. Decentralized because they're all over the world. Autonomous because they're kind of self-operating and organization, a group of people. The problem with DAOs is a coordination problem. They're very easy if you've got, say, a, a bounty. I've got this bug. I want you to fix it and the community can vote for it. Or we're going to put on an event. What do you want the event to look like? And you vote with your tokens, however many tokens you have an ownership state, you can vote for it. The money goes from the treasury and they execute on it. They're generally the things that DAOs are good at. They're right on the other end of the spectrum compared to a normal, highly organized company or government. And that's probably the best way to think about them. Amazing. Now, Noun sounds a little bit hard to explain because the reality is that they're still figuring it out themselves, but it's a really cool concept. So uh, on their website, Noun Sound explains themselves as one noun every day forever. So nouns are an experimental attempt to improve the formation of on-chain avatar communities. So on-chain avatar communities like PFPs, where you have unique profiles that live on-chain on Ethereum, uh, or any blockchain, while projects such as CryptoPunks have attempted to bootstrap digital community and identity, nouns attempt to bootstrap identity, community governments, and a treasury that can be used by the community. So the most fascinating thing about all this, Bergs, is that there's a right now there's only about 500 nouns, or 537 actually. No, actually there's only 536 until they mint a new one and every day they mint a new noun. So at the time of recording, they basically uh, go on an auction, a 24 hour auction. So nouns 537, the new noun that is going to be minted, the auction ends in six minutes. So there's the current latest bid is 27.82 ETH. So that's 27 ETH per day they're minting these at. And that money goes into the treasury. So currently nouns DAOs, has over 29,000 Ethereum in their wallet that's open and very transparent. That's over 34 million US dollars in their treasury. And the community has the ability to use that treasury to build whatever they want, basically. So the Nouns DAO uses a governance model uh, to utilize 100% of the treasury, so 100% of the ETH proceeds from that daily noun auctions to vote on different things and do different things with yeah. it, basically. So, uh, and uh, this is interesting, it, you right? Know, it, so just yeah. doing quick maths on that, the floor price, so the cheapest noun you can get is 39 ETH, which is about 75,000 Australian dollars is the cheapest one you can get. With the amount you set in the treasury, if you divide the amount by the amount of nouns, that's 54 ETH. So you're buying at 39 and you essentially have a 54 ETH stake within that. So already they're setting a price there, which is phenomenal. And you get to control that. And there's only 500 people in here. It's a close knit community. You guys chat all the time. You obviously have wealth because they're worth 75 grand minimum each. And for those that haven't seen it, these are the red kind of like iconic glasses that you see. And really you're creating an elite group that can vote and deploy and allocate a serious amount of capital. It's really exciting. So there's been over 160 odd proposals. Uh, and basically I think the way Gami was explaining was that, that I think 10% of the total DAO needs to vote for a proposal for that to go through. So you need to basically put a proposal up to the DAO with what you're wanting to do and they vote on it. So you can vote for, against, or abstain. Now, as an example, uh, one of the proposals that got approved a couple of months ago was to sponsor NFT Fest. So uh, they proposed that they'd spend $25,000 of their ETH on, uh, 22 ETH 
for Nouns DAO to facilitate an in real life activation and be the official sponsor of NFT Fest. They had 180 votes for, zero against, three abstain. Perfect. So this went through. They had the 22 ETH and they could sponsor it. Uh, other things are like building media brands. So they've actually bought they bought a studio, an agency. They bought a, bought a marketing agency and turned it fully into a fully fledged Nouns DAO agency. So they've got like a team of eight people working full time and creating media and content for Nouns DAO. So they're wanting to be, I think, some sort of media, some sort of like, uh, you know, just renowned known brand in the future. But even the founders, I think, have said, look, we've got no idea what this oh, is. Oh, yeah going to be or what's yeah, it's cutting do. edge stuff we're just here to do yeah shit. and you have to fit yeah. within the current uh legal framework as well so even though you're a nouns holder you get to vote on deploying capital and that threshold is very low 10 percent. this also tells you that people buy things and they don't they're not involved in voting at all like in no shareholder meeting would you say only 10 percent of shareholders need to vote to pass this it'll be over half or you need the director's involvement things like that and we also need so one on. of the Oh, sorry. Oh, one of the other fascinating things is I think there's two founders and they have so every 10 nouns that are minted, they get the proceeds of, of one. So nine go into the treasury, one go into, they basically get it every 10. So they've actually got, I think, like 50 nouns each. So theoretically, anything that they vote on for or against would supersede everyone okay. else. So, you know, there's still that that sort of founder's ability to do that. It's fascinating. I even thought I, I spoke to him about like, are they worried about the supply and demand? You know, with you know increasing one, you know, the, you know increasing the supply every day. But it was, it was sort of good feedback. I think it was, it's going to take them something like twenty or thirty or fifty years to meet the amount of NFTs that Board Ape have. Yeah, Board Ape Your Club have ten thousand NFTs. They've only got five hundred right now. So that's exactly yeah, right. Fascinating. And we also need to recognize that although you're buying something for a minimum of seventy five thousand dollars. You do. I'm assuming you do get some other benefits with it as well. You can vote on how to deploy that capital, but there'll be some kind of structure in the background, like a company or whatever it may be. You don't have shareholder rights in that company. You don't have equity in that company. You don't have voting rights. You just have an asset. So it's not assets and NFTs are not equity. It's not equity in a company. Um, I haven't seen one, a model that, that does that. I have seen ones that have failed that that don't work too well because it's very hard to manage and the legal framework is just crazy. Like you wouldn't run a company like that. But what you are getting is an alignment with a company and a business model where you can benefit from it. And that is an, a new noun is minted every day. It's like roughly another 40, 50 ETH that goes into a pool that you control. And that's the relationship and that's the incentive alignment. So it's cool, man. This is like probably one of the cooler mechanisms of a DAO I've seen. I mean, just to see how much money they have too and all that money going back in the treasury. It's just like this self-fulfilling uh, community that can use the money that they invest in to do cool shit with, with the brand. It's pretty awesome, man. It'll see, we'll see what they can buy, what they can do. There's obviously demand there. There's demand every day. Um, I'm curious to see what how that demand reduces once supply increases because that's the general rule of how things work. But the supply is so low and the funds have expunged is so low as well that it's incredible.